which foot was the this feller? Is a, this is a single downturn feller, and that's the one that turns it down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, and I actually on a couple of my, I actually use it on a lot of my samples because it's a great way to do a hem. And because, yeah. I, like in this sense, this is a quarter inch, and when that turns that down, I don't have to press yeah. that. It's done. I know, it's done. And that's the great part about it. And the same, yeah, and the same thing with the one inch is, you know, it's done. Now, I would probably, maybe if I wanted to, I could come back in here and I could add another stitch on, stitch on the top. So you always have that ability to do that. Yeah. I mean, for me, it just was, I'm always looking for something different to do with some of these attachments and with my stitch. And I'm looking for different looks and things I can create. This is the plain hammer. This is one that everybody struggles with because they don't know what to do with the plain hammer. Yeah. But with the um, overlock table and placing the plain hammer on there, you can see that gives me a much prettier look than I think would happen with the cover and chase, which I never like the look of turning that because it turns the fabric up instead of turning it under. It turns it up, so you're always looking at the underside, but you can see that because of that, that thread, meaning that overall thread, is really covering a good portion of that fabric, and then I can go ahead and I can add that chain stitch in there, and you don't even see the fact that it's underside fabric. It looks like it's really part of it. We could run into your your sashi coat and you have Yeah, oh yeah, you could do. You could just, exactly, look at you. You could leave that, you leave that lip in there, just like that, and you could take it over your sash and coat and add that. Yeah, great idea. High five. Yeah, so you can see how you're <laughs> able to combine all these different machines for all these different looks. And I think when, at least I know when I sit down and so what I'm after is something that's different and unique. Yeah. I don't want, I, I can go buy it on the store sure. and buy it off the rack, but I want something that looks that's like. That's so fun. What, buy it off the rack? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I want something that people are going to say, oh my gosh, where did you get that? Out of my closet is what I always say. <laughs>